Another somewhat advanced command line parameter manipulation technique is the use of the set minus minus command. Set the, there is a command called set, it's a built-in shell command, and it's used to set the command line parameters for the shell that is currently being processing. Now I have actually mentioned earlier that $1 through $9 are read-only, which means you can't set them individually. However, you can set them collectively using set minus minus. This is how you might do it. You'd say set space minus minus space and then you would type in the parameters that you wanted the shell to pretend to use if you like as command line parameters. Now they're not real command line parameters uh, as you understand but what will happen in this circumstance will that be that file1.txt is put into the $1 variable and the $2 variable gets set to Fred. You'll actually find that the set minus minus option is commonly used with the back quotes feature like so. You might say set minus minus and then inside backwards quotes who piped to grep Fred. Now what that will do of course is if Fred is logged in then the command line parameters of the shell will be set to the output of the who command as far as the user Fred is concerned. So in other words there will be five command line parameters. One will be the username Fred, followed by the terminal name, then the month, the day and the time, which if you recall is exactly what each line of the who command looks like. Let's have a look at that now. I can use that, I don't have to use it in a shell script, I can use it just on the shell's command line itself. So I could say take the output from the ls program and make that my set of command line parameters. So let's have a look at that. We don't get any output of course, it's just simply setting some variables. So now we might have a look at echo dollar star. We'll have a look now at all the command line variables. Now obviously there wouldn't have been any command line variables before because this is a command line shell, but now of course we have some and you can use exactly this technique inside a shell script. You might say for example echo dollar nine, which now is just the word palm test. This uh, technique, set minus minus, is especially useful in setting default command line parameters because what might happen is you might require some command line parameters for your shell script to operate successfully and if the user actually forgets to put them in or invokes your shell script without typing them in then you can obviously do a little test for that and say okay well they didn't type in any so let's use set minus minus to set some ourselves, which is very handy. Here's an example of that. This shell script is supposed to take two parameters. It doesn't say that anywhere, but it just is. So I might specify those two parameters, and I might just, uh, well, the name of the script first, of course, and then mark and term 21, for example. So it says mark is logged in on term 21. Now, if I call this script and I don't specify any parameters at all, then what it will do, as you can see, is it will take the parameters and set them from the output of the who command pipe to grep mvirtue, in other words the mvirtue login details. So let's try that. mvirtue is logged in on PTS45, which I'm going to assume is correct because $1 has now been set to mvirtue and $2 has now been set to PTS45. There's also a $3, a $4 and a $5 as well but I didn't ask those to be echoed out. This is how I might get those to be e echoed out. Is a nice little technique. Um, I might do a shift two and then echo since dollar star. Now that of course will pick up all the command line parameters but I've actually skipped over dollar one and dollar two. So it'll just give me dollar three, dollar four, and dollar five. So let's see what that looks like. And there we go. Since September fifth, fifteen forty-seven. So there's a little demonstration of using shift with a parameter as well.